that and go back. <laughs> Hey, this is Minnesota Car Culture, my name's Zach. Roman. So I've been looking on YouTube and seeing what mods to do to Miatas, and I don't really find much. There is. We're gonna do the top five best and worst Miata mods. Music cute. One of my favorite mods. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do my best mods that I've had experience with Miatas. So I would say my number one mod that I did was, the first thing I did was wheels. Um, the Miata that I had, which I'll show a picture here now, came with the ugliest 16 inch wheels ever. They were like 40 pounds each wheel, which is like half of the Miata's weighted. Um, so getting some lightweight wheels and then some nice tires, a little bit oversized tires, actually helps a lot in Miata, especially if you're doing any type of performance driving. We do, we can do like the okay. Um, one of the worst mods that I've done on my Miata, um, we went drifting on ice and I found a curb. And now this car, um, you hit about 65 and you got to like pick your teeth off the ground because it's shattering like crazy. Um, don't do that mod. So the second mod that I did, or I didn't actually do it, uh, both my Miatas came with aftermarket suspension, but one of the things that I noticed after putting stock suspension on my white Miata is that it is really soft. And especially with sway, sway bars, um, I think sway bars are actually one of the bigger things because I noticed a lot of people keep stock uh, spring and struts, but aftermarket uh, sway bars actually help a lot. But if you have the money, um, definitely look into a spring strut combo, maybe a used set, or if you're um, fancy, get some coilovers. But suspension on a Miata, and like I said, again, wheels. Oh, perfect, perfect. perfect. Another stupid mod. So before my NB parts car, I had a NA parts car, and it came with these super awesome springs in the front and stocks in the back. And I had this great idea. It came with these um, E-Box springs and uh, AGX struts in the front and stock suspension in the back. And I had this great idea that I should swap it over. Don't do that. It scrapes everywhere. And you look stupid. Monster truck. Slammed Miata. Okay. All right, one of the next best mods I did was um, when I did uh, HPDE, which is High Performance Driving Education at uh, Brainerd. Um, one thing they did want you to do was some upgrade brakes because you're going like 100 miles per hour down the thing and you don't want your brakes to fail. Uh, so DOT4 fluid is actually one of the better fluids. But another thing actually good for the Miata is to get some type of really nice rotors. Um, mostly, most likely you just want to get some napper rotors, just blanks, and then some nice pads. Um, at the time I got some Hawks, I think D, I think they're called DTC30s or something. It's one of the more street autocross pad, but it actually grips really good. And there isn't any like much dust or fading either. All right, I'm not in this frame, but my next best mod, or my next crappy mod, um, this actually wasn't me, but the previous owner must have painted this with a crayon. It's not shiny at all. It's chipping everywhere. And just something that you shouldn't do, because it looks stupid. It does. It's not green. It's not matching. Just leave it a different color at that point. Alright guys, for my fourth mod, I'm going to say it's going to be a roll bar. Um, Hard Dog is actually one of the bigger companies um, for, for Miata roll bars. Um, the one I specifically got is the Hardcore, or Hard Dog Hardcore Hard Top Double Diagonal. It's a very long list, but it's a very specific list. Um, it's a nice one. It's uh, thicker tubing, and I did get a harness bar as well. Uh, Roman's got the M2. This is the second generation, as well as me. Um, double Diagonal but it's the sport one, so it has a little bit thinner, um, a little bit cheaper as well, and it looks like he's got a harness bar in there as well. There we go. Okay, uh, my next mod, uh, and you guys decide if this is a bad one or a good one. Um, when you take out the stock NA seats, uh, you'll realize that you don't have any sound coming from the back. It's only coming out of your doors, out of these like tiny, tiny little speakers. Um, so my answer to that was, this little Dell, um, It works off 12, uh, 12 volts, it's got a little built-in amp, so it actually it's pretty loud and I just hooked it up to the, um, to the accessory switch up here and it's pretty loud but if you take out the stock NA seats you're going to need to do something with the speakers back there because these door ones don't do anything. Hi guys, for my next mod I'm going to say it's the hard tops. Um, one thing, they're very expensive so it might be hard to get one, especially one in the color. Um, one thing they do is make it look a lot better 
um, just aesthetically. I think they look really good and ties in the whole car. Um, and then another thing they, they do, and it's been kind of a theory, is that they actually stiffen the chassis because they're four-point latching. But, you know, you can have your own opinion on that. Um, so basically that, everybody asks, like, oh, sweet roll bar, sweet hard top, sweet hard top. So uh, my fifth mod and probably my last mod is definitely going to be a hard top. All right. You should. And uh, for my fifth terrible mod, um, this is, again, not one that I did. But it's one I'm very ashamed of. Mazda's um, proud of it, though. Mazda's pretty proud of it. They sold quite a few of them. We don't, we don't know why. They're useless. I present to you... The Automatic. Now, before you start hating, that's why I got the parts car. Alright, uh, so there's, um, there's our five best and worst mods for Miatas. Uh, like my car. <laughs> you got dumb mods, too. I don't mention those. Anyways. If you guys agree with our list, let us know, or tell us what mods you think are good and bad for the Miata. Um, there's quite a bit of them, so everybody has their own opinion. Um, if you guys haven't seen our Turbo Build-Off channel, we just did that recording today too, so if you want to check that out, I will uh, link it into this video. You know, um, if you like what you see, um, give us a like, maybe subscribe, there's, there's plenty of more great material. I mean, if you're into new parts, He's got your stuff. If you're into scout scavenging and going to junkyards and trying to get the best deal possible, this is the Miata for you. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy watching our show. Thanks for watching.